Yo, what's going on guys? It's me, Scooby, and do you want a damage indicator in the latest version of Minecraft Bedrock Edition 1.18? Stick around. Like always, if you do not have install add-ons or you want to download this add-on for yourself, links are in the description down below. Now, if you want a damage indicator add-on, you have to download this one right here. It's a damage indicator add-on V3.1.1 and it's by Cocaine. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, but anyway, it does come with a cogwheel and it does have three different settings. It is just the health plus health bar, the heart value, and just the health bar. Now, I'm going to leave it on the defaulty boy right here because I personally think it's the best. Now make sure it's active and all you need to do is go into a world. Now instantly in the world you can already tell that I have a health bar and you can see exact amount of hearts I have right there. If we go down to this panda over here, you can see it also has 20 health and an ice cream bar. Over here we have a cow and you can see it has only 10 and it has a nice green health bar right there. Now that's not the only thing you want this add-on for. Of course it's for the damage. So if I were to go to this golden sword over here and swing at the cow, you can see it does 5 damage. And over there you can see 5 damage has been taken off of the max health of the cow. So if we swing again, it's dead and you can see the little floating 5 there. I'm very sorry to do this to you, panda. But you see you have 20 hearts and this is an netherite sword. If I swing, it does 9 damage to the panda right there. So it has 11 which is pretty useful to tell how many hits you need to actually kill a thing. Now let's spawn in a creeper and hit it with an axe. You see it also has 20 hearts and if we swing the axe it does 6. Now of course here's a husk again. Swing with different things it does different damage and you can tell right there. You can see exactly it's on red and only has 3 hearts left and you can even punch and boom you do 2 damage 1 damage. So this works with all the different animals as you can see the health bar and all that works very well. Very neat. So now I've enchanted my netherite sword. So let's spawn in a creeper and see how much damage it does. It does 10 damage. As you can see, this will too hit a creeper, which is super cool. So let's quickly go over the other two modes. So this is the next resolution we're going to test. Just the heart value one. So this is just going to have the hearts. Now when you change these type of things, I would recommend restarting Minecraft. Because it will allow the actual add-on to be refreshed and to see exact settings that you have put onto it. Because sometimes it doesn't work if you just go from here into the world. So I will see you once I've restarted. And as you can see, I have just the hearts above my head. Now it shows exactly 20, which is the exact amount of hearts I have. So if I go and spawn this creeper, you can see it's like this perfectly here. Swing the sword, it does 10 damage and boom. So it's basically the same. All it changes is adds the hearts right up there instead of having a bar and the hearts. So let's go to the final one, which is just the health bar. And like I said, if you change it like this, you may want to restart your Minecraft. As you can see, I have the green bar above my head. Now, of course, it's the least useful in my opinion on this one because it's very hard to tell exactly how much health you have and how much hits you can withstand. But if we go to this creeper over here, you can see it also has the green bar above. We punch, you can see it takes a slight sliver out. So you can kind of approximate, but it doesn't tell you exact amount of health it has left. So if we just hit it with the sword, boom, you can see it goes like that. Hit it a couple times. Now, you can tell this is probably like one hit left. But it's still very difficult to tell exactly how much health the creeper has. But it's still a very cool mode. So if you made it this far in the video and you want to confuse other viewers, comment down potato in the comment section down below. But other than that, if you did enjoy, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, share this video with all your friends, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.